Some may remember Nyalu Labs for their somewhat bizarre but incredibly fun and unique title, Magnetic Shaving Derby. I'll give you a moment to let all of the memories flood back as you remember a disheveled pixel art face and various other random objects. All good? Forget Me Not is the latest from the developer, and while the game may look a lot less bizarre, the combination of Pac-Man and roguelike elements makes for an experience that's hard to put down. Players must control their square block by swiping the screen to change directions, navigating down maze-like corridors while avoiding enemies in order to collect all of the flowers. However, there's a twist or two or three. Firstly, you'll need to contend with your constantly firing weapon, which, when fired down a corridor that leads off screen, can hit you and damage you. This can be negated by a key that you can drag behind you, however, enemies can steal the key and subsequently use it as a shield as well. Nastier varieties can even shoot back, so be ready to dodge. Lastly, you can grind against the maze in order to build up a charge, boosting your weapon's power temporarily. However, if you charge too much, you'll be blown up, taking out a chunk of the maze in the process. Three modes are currently available, though this is a bit misleading, as there are only minor variations on the basic modes that pit you against increasingly challenging mazes, while giving you a limited amount of lives. Survival mode reduces your lives to one, while shuffle randomizes the orders of the level. For a truly different experience, you'll need to play with a friend, sharing the screen in a two-player mode. Just try not to kill your friend in the process, though where's the fun in that, eh? Ultimately, Forget Me Not successfully manages to recapture the fun of an old classic while mixing in features that give it more depth. This makes it a fun diversion and a great pickup for those who enjoy something out of the ordinary. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.